Hello everyone, I'm Sabida Varvegar. Today we are going to start our next module that is Operating System Forensics. So in that, first we will learn Windows Forensics. So in this session, we will learn what is meant by Windows Forensics. That is introduction, analysis of different Windows artifacts, and importance of these artifacts in forensics. So we'll start with introduction. Windows forensic analysis focuses on two things. That is in-depth analysis of Windows operating system. So Windows forensics is the process of collecting, analyzing and reporting the data about an event that occurred on the Windows operating system. It means Windows forensics is used to answer the questions about an event or incident such as who did, what, when, and how. Next is analysis of system artifacts. So further, we'll see some important Windows artifacts and their forensic values in the next slides. Before that, we'll understand what is meant by Windows artifacts. Windows artifacts are the objects which hold information about the events that are performed by the user means it contains the information about the activities which are performed by the user. Next is forensic artifacts. So forensic artifacts means the object that contains some data or evidence of something that has occurred like logs, registers, hives and many more. So forensic artifacts means the objects which are having some forensic values means that it contains the evidence or something that occurred next point is analysis of windows artifacts so here we'll see some important windows artifacts and their forensic significance so artifacts can include the file metadata event logs and more so forensic in investigators can use these artifacts to reconstruct what has happened on a windows system so we'll see different artifacts one by one. So first is event logs. It stores crucial information about the system, user activities and applications. It is structured in five channels that is application, security, setup, system and forwarded logs. And event logs are classified into five categories means they are stored in five categories that is information, warning, error, critical, success, failure audit. So basically event log is a logging mechanism on Windows operating system. So every Windows computer stores the information about the system, software and user events in a centralized location that is event logs. Event logs are structured in five channels that is application, security, setup, system and forwarded logs. Application logs contains the information logged by an application on the system security it contains the incidents related to security events means like login attempts or user privileges setup it captures the installation and upgrading of operating system events system it contains the messages generated by the operating system and Forwarded event means the events which are forwarded by other computers. All the event logs are classified or stored into five categories that is information, warning, error, critical, success or failure audit. So error, audit success and failure logs are important in terms of forensic investigations while the other logs it provides general information about the incidents occurred on the system. So in terms of forensic, event logs can provide the information like date when the event was occurred, the time of the event, name of the user who logged onto the machine, name of the computer, event ID, source means the program or component that was used to carry out that event and the type of event that is warning error security. So you can weave the event logs using the event viewer so we 
we'll see so we'll see how to view the event logs from the event viewer see here are different event events shown that is windows logs application and services logs saved logs so we'll see here these are the different channels that is application security setup system and forwarded events see these are the categories of the events that is information see here the information about the related event is shown below that is the log name then the source then the event id means the identification number of the particular event level means the event log type or the level this can be informational warning error success and failure then the username next it is the opcode opcode means the activity that the application was performing so here it is given informational that is info next is logged time and date task category means it identifies the type of event then the keyword keywords these are used basically to group the event with group the event with the similar events and the computer that is local system name so all this information can be identified with this event log artifact the next artifact is registry registry it is a database that stores the configuration settings required for computer to work properly it contains the information about the installed software system configurations user settings and hardware so basically registry is a database it is structured in a tree format with each node in the tree is called as a key so it manages the resources for the applications on the windows operating system it contains the information that the windows uses like user profiles installed applications document types configuration settings and hardware settings so the keys in the registry are designed to make the windows run smoothly and efficiently and inside the registry there are some root folders which are called as hives so we'll see them further while viewing the registry in the windows system next is forensic value so in terms of forensic it determines the users and the time they lastly used the system and the most recently used software means registry tracks some information about the user activities it observes and record the activities which are performed by the user the registry keys are like the road maps of activities of the user or the attacker so they reveal some important information like recent documents used by the user urls which are typed by the user on a browser ip addresses and usb devices we'll see one example of how to view the recent documents in the registry editor so you can open the reg edit by clicking just windows plus r option so this is the registry editor and as i have said that registry is divided into the five hives so these are the five hives that is classes root current user local machine users and current config so the classes root it contains the information that is configuration information about an application the current user means the profile of currently logged user next is local machine it includes the configuration information including the hardware and software settings next is user it contains different user profiles and current config means it contains the current configuration information or settings
of the hardware and software. So we'll see how to view the recent documents from the registry editor. So for that, you have to go to current user in that software, Microsoft. Windows current version and Explorer. So here you'll see recent docs. So here it stores the information like this of the recent docs. We, we can wave one of them. see in this way the information is saved regarding the recent docs so we these are the hex values and these are the ascii values so we can view from these ascii values that the stored file name is important doc so in this way the recent docs can be viewed artifact is prefetched files so prefetched file it is a memory manager component, speeds up the Windows boot, boot process and stores the application required files in RAM. So basically prefetch file is created when you open an application on the Windows system. So it is a Windows feature which speeds up the boot process of the Windows and it reduces the time taken by the programs to start. So this is achieved by storing the files which are required by the application in the RAM whenever the application started. So prefetch file allows us to open the most used application faster. And in terms of forensics, prefetch file discloses whether the individual files were installed and ran a particular program. So it discloses the executable's name and path and number of times the program was run. So basically it displays the metadata which is found. Like for example, here it is shown the file name. Next it is the created time and modification time. Created time, modification time, size of the file, the process executed. The path of the process run counter means number of times the process or executable file was run on this computer system last time when it was run and the missing process. So this is a tool that is win prefetch view which is used to view and examine the prefetch files. We'll see how to use this. So we'll see how to use the win prefetch tool to view and examine the prefetch files. So this is the win prefetch view tools. It shows different prefetch files here from the Windows computer system and you can view the file one by one. So we'll see one file. See, it displays the properties of the file, means the metadata, which we have seen earlier. That is the file name, the created time, modified time, size of the file, name of the process which is executed, path of the process, how many times it was run on the operating system, last time when it was run and the missing processes. So it displays all the metadata about the files which are being used on the operating system. So this was the tool when prefetch wave. The next artifact is thumb caching. It is used to cache the thumbnail images of file. The files are displayed as small images which represents the content of the file and the images are stored in a centralized thumbnail cache file. So basically it is used to store the thumbnails of the files and whenever we open the Windows Explorer or File Explorer in the thumbnail wave, the files within the folders are displayed as small images which represents the content of the, that particular files. So this feature is designed to minimize the system disk input or input output operation, CPU processing time and the load time, which is done to enhance the operating system's performance. 
So in terms of forensics, it serves as a crucial artifact for law enforcement. It persists even after user deletion and contains the metadata of the original file. So it is an important evidence in terms of forensics because whenever a user deletes a file, its thumbnail remains in the cached or stored file. And analysis of this file can reveal the metadata of original file like cache ID, data type, size, creation time, date, location and many more. So you can view this file using the specific tool like Thumb Cache Weaver which is shown here. And the Thumb Cache files can be viewed on your Windows system by visiting these locations from C drives. Next is jump list. It provides the user with quick access to recently accessed application files and the common task. So it is a menu that lists recently used files associated with, it, with a program which is pinned on the taskbar or from the start menu. So basically it provides quick access to the recently accessed documents. For example, uh, jump list for any browser like Google Chrome shows the websites you visit most often. And in terms of forensics, it provides the user's activity on the system and used to construct a timeline of user activities. So it provides a valuable information about the user activities like file creation, modification and access and the data extracted from the jump list can be used to construct the timeline of user activities. And more important thing is the information is maintained on the system even after the source file or the application is not longer existing on the computer. So you can view the jump files by visiting this location on the computer system that is automatic destinations. So these are created automatically when the user opens a particular file or an application. And tools like jump list explorer can be used for examination of these files. The next artifact is link files. These are the windows shortcut files created when a user accesses a local or remote file and points to executables. So as it is shown here, these are the shortcut files. These files link or point to other files or executables for easy access and are created automatically when a user accesses a remote file or local file. So from forensic point of view, it contains the metadata that is file name, size, path to the target file and the timestamp. So it is an excellent source of evidence which contains the metadata and this information is important for understanding the activity on the system like the program execution, file opening and malicious code execution. So link files are located on this location on the computer system. Next artifact is SRAM that is system resource usage monitor. It monitors the system resource usage for 30 to 60 days and tracks the application resource usage, energy, push notifications, network connectivity and data. So it monitors the desktop application program services and the network connection. Means it monitors the application resource usage, energy usage, windows push notifications and the network connectivity. So it is important in terms of forensic means it is considered as a gold mine of forensic information as it contains all the activities that occurred on a particular windows system like it tracks the program execution, power consumption, network activities and much more. So you can view this from 
the given location which I mentioned here. Next artifact is SAM database means security account manager. It is a database file in Windows which stores users password used to authenticate remote and local user and the passwords in this database are stored in hash format. So it is a database file in Windows operating system that stores the user accounts and passwords. The purpose of this database is to make the system secure and protect it from any data breach and it stores the passwords in hash formats. In terms of forensics, it helps to identify the users on the Windows system. The information includes username, user privileges means the user role. Last time the system was logged in, failed login attempts and other information like user account type, login count, password reset and the date and time the user was logged in. So you can view this file by visiting this particular location on the Windows operating system. Next is shell bags. These are created to enhance the user experience and remembers user preferences. So shell bags are used to improve the user experience and it recalls user preferences whenever needed. In terms of forensic, with the help of shell bags, you can prove whether a specific folder was accessed by a particular user or not. Also, when the folder was created, the timestamp analysis, deleted folders and the folders which are accessed within the local machine or removable devices and even from the network folders. So in order to view the shell pack, you have to go to registry editor. In registry editor, you can go to classes group. In that local settings software here the shell bags are located so these are the shell bags which are located and which we can view from the registry editor in the windows so these are the hex values and the ASCAR values of the particular shell bags. The next artifact is recycle bin. So whenever a user deletes a file, it is moved into a temporary storage that is a recycle bin. So from the recycle bin, the user can remove the item permanently or can recover them. And Windows create two files each time a file is deleted and it goes to recycle bin so when it goes to recycle bin the two files are r file and i file so r file is a renamed copy of the deleted file while the i file it replaces the usage file as source of metadata in terms of forensics this artifact can reveal the original file name and path deleted file size and the date and time of deletion. So different tools can be used for analyzing this kind of artifact like recycle dump or even a topsy tool which we had used previously for image analysis. Next artifact is NT user. It is a hidden file in every user profile and it contains the setting and preferences for each user. So this is done by storing the information to the registry in the current user high. So when a user sign in or shut down, Windows save that information to this file. 
and next time when the user sign in the windows will load that memory and all the preferences to the registry again so in terms of forensic it reveals the user activity settings via the registry hive recent documents type urls user assist recent apps paths and all the applications and the tool which can be used for within those file is registry explorer and these files are located on the windows operating system at this location under the c drive in the users folder so the last artifact is swap files so these are the system files which creates temporary storage space on the hard disk when the ram is full it improves the performance of the operating system and it is basically an extension of the ram that is random access memory it stores the data for starting the application faster in terms of forensic it stores text based artifacts when the user starts the application and stops using it and it also gives details about how the application runs about the urls and the file modification date so you can view the swap files on the windows operating system by visiting this location The last point in Windows Forensics is importance of the artifacts in forensics. So the first is evidence repository. Artifacts holds a lot of information which are important sources of evidence means they hold the traces of user activity. Next is timeline reconstruction. These artifacts helps to reconstruct the timeline means they provide the order of the event. the date and time of the event occurred identifying suspicious activity artifact can provide information about the suspicious activity performed by the user like failed login attempts next user behavior insights it reveals the user behavior means the recent activity performed by the user on the operating system that is recent docs accept access recent urls accessed on the browser means it provides the way how the user interacted with the system and the last is hidden data recovery hidden data can be also recovered using all the artifacts by using some specialized tools means detecting the unusual patterns and the security incidents So far we have learned about windows forensics and artifacts in windows system along with its forensic value so windows artifacts provides an important role in forensic it provides the rich source of evidence so understanding these artifacts is crucial in terms of digital forensics thank you for watching this video